What's going on, everybody? Steve here. Um, it's 4.53 a.m. to be exact, and uh, yeah, so I want to go over something. I want to give you something I've never really, I don't think I, no, definitely have not ever done this specifically. Um, I want you guys to get into my private life, and I I don't like, I'm a very private person, okay, so I don't really like letting people in, um, I only could tell my mom, cause I can, re like, she relates to me more than my dad, so, I tell my dad about 20% of the stuff that, that's wrong with me, the other 80%, he knows what's wrong with me, and then the, um, I, I tell my mom about 95%. Maybe 99. I don't even know. But, um, I just wanted to talk about something. I have severe anxiety. Um, I always think I'm dying. You know, I'm up every night. I could be tired, but I can't sleep. Um,. I, I, I'm only telling you this because you might be able to relate and just want you guys to know it's you're not alone, okay? This is a gaming channel. This is supposed to be for fun. This is supposed to be, you know, entertainment. But this is a serious topic that I'm talking about because it's extremely... It could be extremely prevalent to somebody that's just like me, you know? And... I'm actually going to be more helpful with this video than a professional psychologist or whatever because you think all doctors just say shit, right? That's kind of like me. I, I, I just look at a video and I'm like, dude, this doctor's just, like, do you know what it's, just, they went to school for it, but do they know how it actually feels? Do they understand? So... I'm putting together this video to explain something about anxiety. At least for me, it feels, it makes you feel lonely, okay? It's 4.55 in the morning. I'm tired. I haven't gamed in two days. Um, which is unlike me. Because I could be on it every single day, 15 hours a day, fine. But recently, and it's not that I've been sleeping all day. I haven't been sleeping much, actually. I might fall asleep around 8 in the morning and wake up around 12 now. It's weird. Um, for me, it's a sense of loneliness. Let me just get into it. It's a sense of loneliness. Yeah, sure, I have family that I live with. You know, mom, my dad, my brother, my grandma. My dog, and I'm going to get to that, the dog part, because, not only because he's part of the family, but I'm mentioning him because he's, he, he's a big, he's a big help. Um, and, I guess I could show you guys a picture of him. We'll say that for another video. He's been in one of my videos before, so... It's not like you haven't seen him unless you're relatively new. He's been on my videos, in my my vlogs. I, I rarely did vlogs, but it's got to be in there. Look up how to make a Rocky sandwich. He's in that video. Um, but anyway, let's just get, get back to the topic at hand that we're talking about. Focus. The problem is, is when I'm entertaining or when I'm recording, when I'm doing this, it always seems like I'm nervous on camera. I'm really not at all. Because I because if you think about it, I could just redo this over and over again. Or I could edit it. There is a reason why I don't edit it. It's because I want you guys to understand who I am as a person, not take two, take three, take four, sound professional. Like that's not authentic. That's this is all me. I don't edit my speeches, I don't edit my videos. The only thing I'll do is if I make a montage, obviously I have to edit it. That's it. But 
I haven't been making one, but I should be making one soon eventually. I don't know. Um, but I'm going off topic again. Damn it! It's just, it's hard because I'm so... Alright, so it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm up and I'm making this video because my mind's always racing. At night, my mind races. It, keeps me, it makes me worried. It gives me anxious anxiety. I'm about to go over what anxiety is definitions and give you a little because not everybody has anxiety my dad doesn't understand anxiety because he don't have it my mom understands it because she has it i understand it because i have it um but i'm gonna actually show you a few slides a couple slides of what anxiety is and explain it just in a moment but i feel loneliness you know i don't need my dog you know my parents, um, even my mom, I, which is, I'm shocked. She has, she takes melatonin going to bed. Do you think she needs it to sleep? It has to be because she has her mind always racing. That's why she needs it to go to sleep. Okay? See, I don't understand that. I, I can't take that because that drives me nuts. I don't like taking something that, or a drug that makes me feel a certain way. If I feel like I'm getting tired... That's going to freak me out because I know it's not natural. It's supposedly natural in the bottle, but it doesn't feel natural. I took one one time and it made me feel like I was dying. I got really, really tired and I it just didn't feel authentic to me. So I'm not taking that no more. We're already seven minutes into the video. Damn, I got to get it. I got to speed this up. I'm not trying to make this a 20 minute video. Um. So anyway, back to what I was saying is... Uh, yeah, I see my mind's racing. Um, but I feel lonely. So you know, I had to wait till my mom always goes to work. Weekends suck for me because she has she she's not working, so she stays and the dog stays with her and stuff like that. He won't want to come to me. He only comes to me when I go get him. It might take a few bribes here and there to get him, but the reason why I have him is not because I just like cuddling with him or whatever. It actually helps me go to sleep because I don't feel alone. I don't like sleeping alone, but I'm too. I'm a big boy. I can't. I can't go and sleep with my mom. I can't have somebody sleep. You know, when I was when I was living with my girlfriend, I slept fine. You know, we did our thing. You know, you guys have dirty minds. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying we did our thing. You know, we we did what we had to do to get ready for bed. We, you know, bada bing, bada boom. We were sleeping. That's it. Uh, well, some other thing. Okay, I should edit that out, but I'm not going to. Um, but anyway, so, but when I was living with her, I, I could fall asleep naturally. It's fine. Anytime. I would fall asleep around 10 o'clock, wake up around 7. It was fine. I could go to sleep if I really wanted to. Um, here, I can't because I'm alone. My bed's a mess, as you can see. I don't sleep right. I can't sleep. And if I do, I wake up in the middle of the night anxious and have anxiety attacks or a nightmare or something like that. Because I don't know. It's just a sense of loneliness and I always need something. You know, I actually am not going to lie. A couple years ago, I had this teddy bear from an actual teddy bear, not my dog teddy bear. I actually had a teddy bear. And I don't know where it's at. It's got to be somewhere. But I actually tried to sleep with that. That shit didn't work either. It has to be something living. Um, for it to work. And... So, let's just get back. Let's just get into the anxiety on what it is real quick. Okay? Let's just get to that part. So, what is anxiety? Psychological and physiological, I can't say that word, state characterized by somatic, emotional, cognitive, cognitive, and behavioral components. Big words. I don't know what they all mean, but I know what anxiety is because I go through it. Normal reaction to stressor. Stressor equals environmental condition or stimulus. Like, I guess that's like heights. Um... Or something like a job interview. I think it's what it's saying. 
you know, something that will stress you out because it's a situational thing. Um, prolonged time frame. So basically, um, let's say long car rides. That actually bothers me. Anything an hour or longer, I start getting nervous. Like, I get anxiety. I mean, it drives me nuts. Classically, response to stress and frustration. Yeah. Con conse consequence of events. Yeah. Well, pretty much me. Way of dealing with personal issues. Yeah. Anxiety and fear. Fear is concrete danger. Um, occurs in present time. So anything like, it could be walking across the street. Basically what this is telling you is it's a safety mechanism. It's not a bad thing to have anxiety because what it's doing is actually protecting you. It's thinking of the worst to protect you from what could happen, even if it sounds unreasonable. Um, anxiety is paranoia of something frightening, may or may not be actual, time, perspective, and future. So it's Basically what I just said, actually. So it's basically f making a situation in your head and it may not be actually going to happen. It just might be something in the future that could happen. Like I could die of cancer or something like that. Like, or oh, I had the coronavirus. Like, you know, something like that. It, it's, it's just something like that. Next slide. This is, this is key. Okay, so general anxiety disorder, excessive, more than someone else, so it's you get nervous more than someone else, um, persistent, it doesn't go away, and unreasonable, shouldn't be worried, So, but you are in a way, so diagnostic and statistical manual. DSMS uh, of mental disorders, excessive anxiety present more days than not for six months, 90 or more. I can't comprehend what that means, really. But the symptoms is basically what I'm going over, and I feel it all. Every single thing is, is, is what I deal with while everyone's asleep. All night. My parents think that I'm just playing games all night and sleeping all day. I hate when they say that because, honestly, it's not. It's... It's 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 my mind and it doesn't shut off, and there's no, I I there's nothing I can do about it. Um, symptoms are chronic fatigue. I, actually, I don't get that very often. I get that around like eight in the morning. I feel like I'm dying if I literally don't get sleep at that point. Um, edginess and restlessness. As you can see in my bed, it's a mess because I, I toss and turn. I can't do nothing about it. Irritability. I get irritable. A lot of it has to do with just average life things. It, it, from anything from playing games to work-related, pretty much. Everything, just, and, and you know, what someone says to me is just stuff that irritates me. It's just for some reason. Difficulty concentrating. I've had that my whole life. It's a pain in the ass. As you can see, I'm having difficulty concent concentrating, and I had to slap myself in the face saying focus earlier in this video. So, did I hit myself? I don't know. But there again, I'm having difficulty concentrating. Difficulty sleeping. I mentioned this many times. Of course, that's exactly what it is, pretty much for me. And muscle tension. Um, muscle tension, yes. It's not the kind of muscle tension you're thinking, though. My muscle tension, when it comes to muscle tension, is I just don't feel relaxed, like, at all. Like, I, I don't feel relaxed. I don't feel at ease when I'm going to bed. And it's it bothers me. So, those are pretty much the symptoms. I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of it. Because a lot of you probably don't have it. Or haven't developed it yet. It doesn't mean you're going to develop it. Um, in the future, so don't jinx yourself. Knock on wood, whatever. But is it, that's spackle. Never mind. Or, no, that, yeah, that's drywall. That, I don't know what the hell that is actually. It's, it ain't wood, but I don't have to worry about that because I don't, you know, whatever. I'm getting mad right now. That's why I'm itching my nose. I get really angry and I start itching my nose. It bothers me. But um, 
Yeah, so I just want to give you guys a little overview of get into my private life. And I just wanted you to understand what I go through from a day-to-day -day basis. And um, it, it does really, it, it does wear on me. And I want, I'm curious to know in the comments or whatever how you guys, if you guys do it or and how you deal with it or, you know, anything. I, I just, I would like to hear from you guys. Um. And if you want it, make sure you leave a like if you want to, if you want me to do more of these, like just getting into my life, like what's on my mind at night. I mean, maybe this is a, something that I could do to help myself. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to help me be able to fall asleep because I'll be able to make a video and it, have someone to talk to because I, that way I don't feel alone. But loneliness is basically, it has nothing to do with having a girlfriend or whatever. It has, it's not. You're not physically alone, but mentally you feel alone, and it keeps you up, and it makes you, drives you crazy, and, and, and I can't go to sleep until grandma wakes up, you know, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll lay in her room just, you know, watching TV with her or whatever, and then I'll fall asleep, or when, when I have the doll, which is majority of the time, because my grandmother hates when I'm in there, most of the time, it's whatever. If she wakes up and she's in a good mood, I'm fine. If if she wakes up and I'm in a bad mood, everything's my fault, and I don't get it. But I'll bring my dog up here. He'll lay next to me, or we'll cuddle. I can fall asleep in ten minutes. It depends. Depends if something's bothering me or not, or it's just my mind. It, either way, but I can fall asleep quick, and that's the key concept. It is is loneliness. That's that's. I've discovered my anxiety gets triggered by loneliness because I'm inside my own head and stuck. I feel like I'm stuck alone. I can't wake my parents up. I can't wake my brother up. I can't wake. You know, they get mad. You know, you can't wake nobody up. Who are you gonna call at five in the morning? People work. You know. I don't have that many friends to begin with. Me wanting to be a professional gamer. I kind of didn't make that many friends growing up. <laughs> but, um... I, I just hope you guys understand that if you do suffer from this, you are not alone. Um, and there's multiple types of anxiety. I figured it out finally. This past, like, week or so. I've been thinking about... What triggers my anxiety? Because it's, you know, I got to figure it out. Why do I always get anxiety all night? And I may play games sometimes all night long. The way gaming helps me is it keeps my mind occupied and I don't have to worry about what I'm worried about. You see what I'm saying? But at the same token, it's also not healthy to play all night. And then sleep during the day. Especially if you work the next morning. And you're really screwed. Because you're exhausted. And then you're not performing 100%. But anyway. I did not want to make this 20 minutes. It's 18 minutes and 30 seconds. So. Please. Let me know your thoughts guys. And. I've asked you guys to comment before. And you never commented. If you've gotten this far. Please do comment. And. I'm open to all suggestions. I'm open to all. Any stories, if you want to tell me about your stories, I'm interested to hear if you guys want to hear what I'm worried about in the future videos. This is just me explaining that I do get worried about things, and that's why I'm up and all that stuff. You know? Um, and there's been plenty of time that's been YouTube, actually, believe it or not. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the long video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. And you did go away with this video with some kind of knowledge and understanding of this disorder and how it affects people, especially me. Alright, bye guys. Have a good night.